Hi everyone, welcome back to our Tech Chat series. I'm Derek, and today I'm joined by Ching Chun, Solutions Architect at Alibaba Cloud Malaysia. Today, we're going to talk about Elastic Compute Service, also known as ECS, a scalable IaaS provided by Alibaba Cloud. So Ching Chun, can you give us a quick introduction about ECS? Yep. So ECS is a um, compute service with flexible processing capacity. And compared to physical servers, ECS can easily be deployed yeah, with better uh, security and stability. Right? And ECS also can be easily scaled up and down based on business needs and this helps lower uh, overall IT cost. And ECS instance um, contains uh, several components including physical hardware like CPU, GPU, RAM, uh, storage as well as uh, OS layer and also security components like security group, ACL and firewall. So Chin Chun, how can customer buy and use ECS? Yeah. Uh, just log on to Alibaba Cloud Console and create an ECS instance from there. Uh, the, call, the, the console uh, will guide you when selecting a uh, specification, instance type, uh, OS, storage, etc. Uh, as well as a viewing method. Yeah. So once done, uh, in ECS it typically takes less than a minute uh, to start. So this allows our user to quickly start and stop instances based on um, business needs. Yeah. Uh, for more advanced users, uh, ECS also supports API and SDK, meaning you'll be able to uh, start and stop ECS instances uh, programmatically. Do I continue paying when instances are not used? So that depends on the instance status. When you release an ECS instance together with its attached disk, uh, all the data associated with it are removed and it will not be charged. However, you can stop an ECS instance in economical mode. So that means uh, you release the compute resource but you keep the network and storage components so you only charge for network and storage. And there are also many other instance types that can help our customer uh, save costs. For example, a burstable instance is suitable for a scenario where CPU utilization is typically low but experiences uh, some bursts. Another example would be a reserve instance where you can reserve compute capacity for a set period of time at a discount. Lastly, you can also check out our uh, savings plan yeah, that enables pay as you go discounts up to 76%. So, Ching Chun, what can developers now do that they could not before? Yep. So, developers can now quickly launch fresh new environments and also duplicate them uh, as well. There is also less limitations on hardware. For example, if a big data engineer needs a powerful GPU to train his AI model, you can easily do so, just subscribe to Alibaba Cloud uh, ECS instance with the correct specs and then release it from the instance. Uh, if uh, somebody needs additional computing resource, that can be arranged within minutes as compared to the weeks or months uh, for procuring additional hardware. Setting up high availability uh, architecture, disaster recovery, backup and restore solutions has never been easier as well. Uh, the developers can now do so easily through Alibaba Cloud Console without having to install and configure the party tools. What are the differences between using on-premise resources and ECS? And the main difference would be flexibility and scalability. So for flexibility, there's many types of uh, instances that you can choose from for different types of uh, workloads. You can also easily configure ECS to automatically scale up or down based on uh, business requirements. Yeah. And that being said, a lot of customers, they have uh, compliance requirements or security requirements that still require them to use on-premise uh, resources. So on those cases, Alibaba Cloud can also support uh, them uh, with their hybrid cloud in, uh, architecture or uh, private cloud. What are the advantages or benefits of ECS? Yeah. So first of all, ECS is reliable. Uh, in fact, Alibaba Cloud provides the highest SLA uh, compared to other cloud service providers, which is up to 99.975%. Uh, secondly, uh, ECS is also elastic, which allows the user to scale up and down based on business demands and usage. And ECS is also secure. And there are various security solutions provided by Alibaba Cloud that ensures that your applications or systems running on ECS are secure. This includes security center, uh, cloud firewall, web application firewall, uh, etc. And both of our data centers in Malaysia are actually uh, tier 3 with tight security 
uh, measures yeah? and they also comply with industry standards such as ISO, PCI, DSS, uh, SOC etc. Okay? Uh, Alibaba Cloud has also been appointed as an official cloud service provider to accelerate Malaysia's digital transformation. How does Alibaba Cloud ensure the reliability and stability in ECS? Right. So Alibaba Cloud has been around for more than 10 years and we have been supporting Alibaba Group's uh, core business like Alibaba.com, uh, Taobao, just to name a few. Yeah. Uh, so our systems has a proven track record and we are able to support even the biggest shopping festival in the world during 11-11. In fact, we have our very own uh, fault prediction and detection model which has up to 99% prediction accuracy thanks to the massive amount of system metrics data that we've accumulated uh, throughout the years. For the last question, what's new in ECS? Okay, uh, we just released our 7th generation ECS instances which is powered by the latest CPU and supports higher memory, higher uh, physical network and higher IOPS. It is also fully equipped with trusted platform module and support VPPM. Another thing that's new is our Elastic Desktop Service or EDS. It is a desktop as a service solution that is suitable for all types of uh, scenarios including daily office work, document editing, to R&D and even graphic design. It is also particularly useful uh, when your employee needs to have access to sensitive data but you do not want that data to be uh, you know, physically copied into their uh, work laptop. I think that's about it. Thank you once again, Chin Chun, for taking the time to speak with us. So folks, stay tuned and we'll see you in the next episode.